It's an incredible thing, the writing process, but Jesse, so, I mean, one, it's an exciting thing to be able to sit with somebody probably in a room. You might not know what you're gonna write about, but you do know you're gonna be able to help someone, and that is the coolest thing as a writer, to be able to actually have a message that matters, and you're getting to help them with that. So what made you wanna be a part of Creative Ed's? So I met Richard Casper at the Whiskey Jam one Monday night in Nashville, and he was trying to do some networking, trying to meet songwriters that would be willing to write with veterans in the program. And, and a young lady introduced me to him, and he told me a little bit about what he'd already done and what he was hoping to do. And I was like, man, that sounds amazing. I would really love to be a part of that anytime you need somebody. Here's my phone number. And I told him my great granddad also was in, in the military. And before he died, he shared some stories with me that was very difficult to watch him have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and that impacted me greatly and made me want to be a part of it. Oh, who, who would have thought, you know? So what, what was the first writing session like? Was it... Was it hard? Because I do know when you get in a room and you don't know people, you're like, well, I hope it works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, for sure. Yeah. Exactly. And it definitely was hard. I had, we had, I had gone through therapeutic things in a room before, but not anything like with that, like in mind, like we were probably going to process something that was very difficult that they hadn't processed before. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened. We went into the room and it was a hard four hours for us writers and for the gentleman that was going through the program at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but by the end of the process, you know, some tears were shed and um, we had a song at the end of that. Richard asked me if I would play it in the writer's round that I was playing in, in town later that evening. Um, I went to the venue. They showed up. I played the song and that gentleman cried and sang the words back to me. <laughs> so he cried and he sang the words back to me the whole time. And while he did that, it just like really made a massive impact on me. It just really showed how powerful this stuff is. Yeah. Because like it was something so hard that he had to deal with, but he was smiling about it while he was singing it. It didn't make any sense, but it made sense. <laughs> 